In this example, we want to analyze and solve a forced mechanical oscillation problem. In this example, we have a mass on a spring system with a mass of one kilogram, a damping coefficient of four newton seconds per meter, and a spring constant of three newtons per meter. That should be newtons per meter. It is acted on by an external force given by four cosine of two t, and then we have some initial conditions that it's pulled down 0.5 meters and released. So let's first start by writing the differential equation that governs this system. So if we have a mass one kilogram, that means our first coefficient is going to be a one times y double prime. The coefficient of four means we have four times y prime. And a spring constant of three newtons per meter means this is three y. And our forcing function is a four cosine of two t with any other conditions, y of zero is 0.5 and y prime of zero is zero because the mass is released, so its initial velocity is zero. Now we can try to solve this problem. So for the homogeneous solution, or in this case the transient solution, we have a character equation of r squared plus 4r plus 3 equals zero, which factors as r plus 3 r plus 1. So I have roots at minus 1 and minus 3, two real roots. General solution there is c1 e to the minus t plus c2 e to the minus 3t. Now for the non-homogeneous part, or the forced response, we are going to use undetermined coefficients. And with that, we're going to guess y p of t is a cosine 2t plus b sine of 2t. And then we can take two derivatives of this expression and then plug it into the equation. There's our derivatives, and then we can just plug this into the original equation y double prime plus 4y prime plus 3y to give us an expression like this. I want to regroup terms based on the trig function they're attached to. So if I do this, I will see a cosine of 2t times a negative 4a plus an 8b and plus a 3a and then a sine of 2t times a negative 4b minus 8a and then plus 3b or 8b minus a cosine of 2t plus a negative 8a minus b sine of 2t and I want this to match 4 cosine of 2t which means I want to solve some equations negative a plus 8b equals 4 and negative 8a minus b equals zero. To solve this out, I can multiply the second equation by eight and add down to cancel the b's. That will give me a negative a and then a negative 64a, which gives a negative 65a equals four, or a equals negative four over 65. Plugging that into the second equation will tell me that negative 8 times negative 4 over 65 should equal b, would be the other side, which gives me a 32 over 65. So my non homogeneous solution is a negative 4 over 65 cosine of 2t plus a 32 over 65 sine of 2t. We can then combine this with the solution to the homogeneous equation to give me the general solution to the entire problem, which is a c1 e to the minus t plus a c2 e to the minus 3t, and then my non-homogeneous part minus a 4 over 65 cosine of 2t, and then plus a 32 over 65 sine of 2t. Now finally we have to figure out c1 and c2 to meet the initial conditions. And plugging in a zero to this and the first derivative will tell me that I need 0 0.5 to be y of zero, which is c1 plus c2 minus four over 65, and zero to be y prime of zero, which is negative c1 minus three c2, and then plus a 64 over 65, because that would be the derivative of the sine term, which gives me a cosine, which then is one and zero. This one half here, is a 65 over 130, where this here is an eight over 130. So rearranging the equations, I can then get that 73 over 130 is C1 plus C2, 
and 64 out of 65 is C1 plus 3C2 when I move the C1 to the other side to rearrange the equation. So now what I want to do is I want to subtract these two equations. This will be a 128 over 130, which will lead me to 73 minus 128 over 130 equals negative 2C2. The difference there is 55. It was negative 55 over 130, which tells me that C2 is going to be 55 over 260. Putting that back into the first equation here gives me that 73 over 130 or 146 over 260 equals C1 plus 55 over 260. So that C1 is 91 out of 260. Thus, we can finally write the entire solution here. Our solution y of t is going to be 91 over 260 e to the minus t plus a 55 over 260 e to the minus 3t plus our solution to the non-homogeneous problem. So minus a 4 out of 65 cosine of 2t and then plus a 32 out of 65 sine of 2t. And there's a lot of messy algebra there in solving for constants, but that is the process you have to follow to be able to solve these initial value problems for non-homogeneous equations. So this tells the vision of the mass at any given time. And if we were to look into the amplitude of the oscillation, you'd see that if you did a squared plus b squared and square root it, it'd be really, really small. And that in this case, in fact, there's a lot of damping force in this problem. The damping coefficient is four and it's actually an overdamped system. So there's not much oscillation at all because even though you force it at a certain rate, the fact that there's so much resistance is gonna squish it out and make there be almost no oscillation anyway. So that's how you would analyze this problem, work out what's gonna happen, and then determine the solution for any point in time using this method of undetermined coefficients and our normal methods for solving second order consequent coefficient equations.